Hi, I'm Ozune Sandalio. You can play the Ozune way or simply the Ozune way. Yeah, this is my methodology of, you know, my approach to how I play the keyboard. I'm basically starting with you from the beginner's level. Yeah, and my previous video, what I did is I explained and examined the keyboard, the outlay of the keyboard, how to find the white keys versus the black keys. I know that's obvious, but still there is a pattern that emerges once we begin to look and examine the keyboard closely, especially for those who have never played before. So this method is designed for those who have had absolutely no experience whatsoever. You feel like you really would like to play, you'd like to play something even if it's merely at a little lab, something very basic, you just want to have an idea. And so my course, the Ozune way, is designed for you, okay? Music is beautiful and I think personally that everyone should play, even if it's just basic, just in order to appreciate the beauty and, you know, that music evokes. Right, so what we want to do is we want to become very, very intimately connected, familiar with all the notes. Once we know where all the notes are, then we can simply let go and allow the process, you know, the beauty of music and what it evokes and the inspiration that comes from so many miscellaneous sources, you know, the invisible you know, antennas, the invisible realms that flows through each eye, you know, um, and that's what it's all about, you know, um, I, I, I sit down and sometimes things just pop to me, just come into my head. So we have to get to that point where we just let go. But in order to let go, you have to know where to find these sounds to begin with. Eventually, it's going to happen with practice, with learning where to find this beginning, which is where we're going to go right right now, to knowing where to find your first note of C. So this is C which is in the middle of my keyboard. I have an 88 key keyboard, okay? And middle C, as this note is actually referred to, is the fourth C 
from the lowest part of the keyboard or piano. That is if you have a full range keyboard or KTM keys. If you don't have a full range, then you have to try to find this sound, which usually can be C number three, if it's a, say a five octave keyboard of 61 keys, or maybe um, the same C number four, if it is a 73 or a 76 keyboard, okay? But this is a sound right here. And C is always found immediately to the left side of any two black key group. So if you see any two black keys, then know that this note is going to be a C note, okay? So all of these basically, they're C notes. Two black keys, then a C. Two black keys, then right immediate, immediately to the left side is C. That's middle C, okay? That's also a C. That's also a C. <laughs> and this is the lowest C, so this C is actually called C number one. C number one. Up to C number two and then C number three, C number four, C number five, C number six, C number seven, and there actually is another C, but more on that later on. Okay, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out by the time we're through with this um, video. All right, so this is C. So, of course, we did say that C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then C. So I'm going to place all the letters now to our musical keys on my keyboard. So we have C here. I hope you can see. I'm going to use an, an orthodox fingering just so you can see um, what's going on here. As a matter of fact, hang on one second. I think I'm going to do one even better. So hold on. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm back with you. So what I want to do is I want to show you, because I think you'll get a better, um, you know, you'll see better. See the two black keys here? So this is going to be a C. And then in the middle of these two black keys, this is your D. And then here to the right side of the two black keys, this is E. And then remember that we said in our previous video that you have two white keys beside each other. So that's these two. So this is E, now you have F. So please bear in mind that E and F are the only two white keys here presently that are immediately adjacent or beside each other. Then you have from F here, which is below or to the left side of these three black key groups, you have G. Then after G, you have A. Then after A, you've got B. Now B is to the right side of the three black key group above, because when we go to the right, we're going higher, so it's getting above, okay? And then notice that this B, after B in the alphabet, comes C. So this is C again. And notice that it's right again where the two black key group um, is. And so this B to this C, they're adjacent to each other. And so we refer to this as a semitone or half of a tone. A semitone in terms of the interval or the distance between them. So you have two examples of semitones, E to F. These are a semitone, the shortest distance between musical notes or tones in Western music, that is, okay, E to F, and then B to C. Now let's do a little count and then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So we refer to this as C number one, 
we refer to this as D number two. It's C number one because this is the very first note that we're playing. So I'm just showing you the notes, not the fingering, just the notes, okay? C is number one, D is number two, E is number three, F is number four, G is number five, A is number six, B is number seven, and C is number eight, also known as the octave. Octave meaning eight, so OCT prefix for eight. So an octagon, an eight-sided figure, an octopus, an uh, eight-legged legged sea creature. And here is a conundrum. <laughs> October, go figure. How did October get in there? But it's the tenth month, huh? Or November, N O V prefix nine, D E C prefix for ten, decimal, decade, December. Hmm, go figure. All right, <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna play the sound. Okay. <laughs> That's middle C. That's D. That's E. That's F. That's A. That's B. A. What am I saying? Ozune. <laughs> That's A. And now B. And then the octave C. So let me play again. And this is known as C major scale. C major scale. Also, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Your sol, fa or solfege, those are syllables that singers use and sing in order to identify different degrees or notes on um, musical notes without using the aid of an external musical instrument, okay, or equipment. So I'm going to play it again. C. D. E, putting my thumb to play F, G, A, B, and C. Descending, coming back down, finger number five on C, the octave, finger number four on B, the seventh note, Finger number three on A, the sixth note. Finger number two on G, the fifth note. Finger number one on F, note number four. And then I'm bringing over the third finger over the thumb, finger number one to play E. E is the third note. And then D is the second note with the second finger. And C is the first note using the first finger. So I'm going to play this again. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Eight notes, okay, of our musical major scale. C major scale to be exact. So you can actually make something really nice out of this just to, just for learning purposes.
or if you want to be adventurous because it's all about learning these sounds <laughs> cheat a little bit general gist I know it's a different sound but it's still you know so lesson we're going to learn chords this is what I'm playing the accompaniment in the left hand and I'm keeping it very basic very simple so all I did is play what is called a C major triad and then I played a kind of derivative of a G triad but more into that the next lesson okay not of course limited to this type of accompaniment or this type of voicing or chords I mean, you know, it's left to your imagination again, you know, I could have done right? I could have also done You know, so many things that you could have done, you know
So until next time, this is Ozune Sandalia signing out. Look out for the next lesson course. Cheers from Kingston, Jamaica, Mount Pleasant. Peace.